The country's cherry growers are in catch-up mode after a slow start to the season. A cooler spring and rain damage in early December limited supply before Christmas. But as Dave Gooselink reports, it's now all hands on deck to satisfy the export market. It's all go at 45 South's Pack House near Cromwell. The company produces around a third of the country's export cherries, but after a bumper crop in 2018, this season's exports are almost a tenth of what they were a year ago. As an industry, uh, only exported about 150 tonnes so far. This stage last year, we were uh, over 1,000, so chalk and cheese. But with strong demand from Asia heading into the Chinese New Year, Jones is confident the industry will catch up. So we had a little bit of rain early on in December, which has made the first part of the season difficult, but now heading into some really nice fruit. And fingers crossed the weather looks after us. Cherries can be a fragile fruit at the mercy of the weather. Down the road at Clyde Orchards, Kevin Paulin's trying to mitigate that risk. He's built a three hectare retractable shed to house 5,000 early variety trees, the first in New Zealand to trial it with cherries. Now it's very obviously a high capital investment, but also means that we can start our pack house a bit earlier, utilise our staff, utilise our you know, our, our packing equipment. The impressive structure is fully automated, relying on a high-tech weather station, which closes or adjusts the roof and walls to protect from wind, rain and extreme heat. So we don't have any issues with rain or hail or wind or snow or... Frost. Protecting the orchard in a bad weather season, with the first commercial crop set to be harvested in 2020. Dave Gooselink, News Hub.